Every three days in the United States, an infant is found dead. Today, Collier County Commissioners just approved another way to help keep babies safe. It's one of these safe haven baby boxes. It allows a mom to safely and anonymously leave the baby behind. NBC2's Ryan Arbogast is at the EMS, EMS Station 76, where this box will be installed. Here at Collier County EMS Station 76, right along Logan Boulevard and Vanderbilt Beach Road, there's a sign outside of the door saying that this space is a safe haven for newborns, but only when left with a staff member. The Collier County Commission says that's now no longer the case. They just unanimously approved money for a baby box that's coming to this location right across the street from Island Walk. Anonymous, climate controlled and secure. This is what a safe haven baby box looks like from the company that designed it. Now one of these $20,000 machines is heading to Northern Collier County. Uh, the alternative is a dumpster. You know, the, the baby box is a last resort option. And if the alternative is a dumpster, I think everyone would agree that this is a good option. That's Monica Kelsey, the founder of Safe Haven Baby Boxes, which began about 10 years ago. Kelsey is responsible for installing nearly 300 boxes across the country, which saved more than 200 newborns from being abandoned, just like her. You know, for people to really understand the mission and where the drive comes from, you know, I got to go back a, a lot of years to August of 1972 when a 17-year-old girl was brutally attacked and raped and left along the side of the road. And Two of those boxes exist already in northern Florida, in Newberry and Ocala which was the focus of today's meeting at the Collier County Commission with a short video showing how an EMT actually adopted the child left behind. And I pulled the doctor aside and I had asked him, like, when's the case worker going to get here? Because I would like to adopt her. Commissioners quickly approved the funding and project 5-0 to zero this morning in just a few minutes. When I think of the southernmost box in, in America, I think of how many lives can this impact? Once the box is installed over the next few weeks, the company's founder says they will host a blessing ceremony to offer prayers for anyone who needs the safe haven inside or out. Reporting local today in northern Collier County, Ryan Arbogast, NBC2.